19 days till Christmas. Here's everything you need to know ahead of City's game with Northampton. Welcome to Part Life. Jay and then down the corner again. Seymour will keep this in down by the byline. And today, yeah. it's in his flash into the back of the net by Fisher. Free kick taken by Randa Williams in towards the near post and flicked on and in. By City now. Randa Williams has fired from the offside trap. Williams for three, listed over the keeper, and it is 3 0 to Exeter City. And it's a terrific finish from Randa Williams, and it's game, set, and match. Both sides come into Saturday's game on the back of FA Cup performances. Northampton beat Notts County 3-1, while we watched Ryan Bowman and Nigel Atangana scoring that goal just there in a 2-2 draw with Hartlepool. We spoke about to Ryan Bowman ahead of Saturday's game against Northampton. Yeah, of course, as you say. A um, little bit disappointed last weekend, as you could imagine, uh, turning it up against you know a conference side. Um, no disrespect to them, we should be finishing them off. Um, but yeah, as you say, back to league um, on Saturday and now uh, we're ready to go. In terms of this weekend's opposition, uh, Northampton themselves in great form, winning five of their last six games and only two points behind City. Are you expecting an exciting clash? Yeah, we know what to expect for them. You know, we know it's going to be that they're a physical side, um, but um, we know they've got the weaknesses as, as any other club has. And um, we, we've gone about it this week, um, how to exploit them like we do any other any other team, as I said. Um, but yeah, the boys are looking forward to it. We've been sharp this week in training, so we're ready to go. Saturday is our designated Rainbow Laces campaign. There'll be special corner flags, a captain's armband, and a presentation ahead of the match. Join us here in the boardroom where all the important meetings take place. Bit upstairs for you, isn't it, Xander? You're normally out on the pitch. Yeah, usually getting wet and cold, but it's worth it when you get three points. Yeah. Just run, run us through your roles at the club, because you're also in the, as well as doing the 360s, you're also in the club shop, aren't you? Yeah, so obviously I do, I do the 360s, which is the match day videos, which is just a, a sort of snapshot or sort of 10 minutes or so of the whole day, um, including our own highlights that we shoot, and they're sort of a little bit more extended than, than perhaps the ones that um, are from the gantry. And then I also do, um, I also work in the club shop, so yeah, just working basically, getting out as much merchandise and good stuff out like that to the Exeter City fans. Have you been surprised about, about how well received the, the 360s have been by the fans over the last few seasons? Because they, they get rave reviews, don't they? Yeah, I think I've, I've been surprised um, well, I've been surprised with people that come here and then watch it. It's a, it's a little less surprising from people abroad because the idea that Scott and I sort of try to do with the 360s is, is make you sort of feel as much as you as much as you can actually be at the game even if you couldn't get to the game but I suppose when there's a good result and and you know so for example like the Plymouth game you know people want to watch it and it's not just the highlights it's a snapshot the whole day and when you have a, events well most games always feel like big events but when it's something like Plymouth the whole day feels like an event not just the game yeah. um, and people get to kind of relive that which is nice and you get to see Randall Williams's uh, somersault from loads of different angles. Yes, exactly. Well, I, actually, I think the referee actually ran in front of me just as he did it. So I, um, I didn't get the best shot of it, but Scott got the, the absolute money shot. So it was fine because you only really need one angle of the celebration anyway. Although we probably would have put another one in if we'd absolutely nailed it with that one. Uh, Lots into getting that highlights of the match because it was four goals going in, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was that was a crazy game, and it was. I actually during the Tom Parks goal, I actually had to celebrate literally, and I, I'm usually good at just just filming, but obviously with the magnitude of the game and supporting the club and stuff, it was. Yeah, I had to have a sort of move the camera and then like sort of pump the fist while I was. Uh, yeah, just as the goal went in. Just run us through your time then supporting Exeter City. When, when did you first come to SJP? I came to St James Park in, I can't remember if it was 2005 or 2006, we beat Hereford 4-0, I remember it really clearly, it was the first game I'd ever been to, I didn't really support Exeter at the time as such because I didn't really know much about sort of local football really, I was, I was, I was still young and really just supporting Chelsea but um, after that I was hooked, after that I was hooked and I kept coming consistently and then I went to every home game during the season we got promoted from the from the conference um, and then I kind of fizzled out a little bit just with not being able to get there and stuff and then yeah I came back in 2014 I've pretty much been here since 
a uh, couple of seasons before with the season ticket and then um, I got the job here so. How do you feel this season's uh, going? Really well to be honest as, as expected I think obviously it's been a little bit I think difficult converting some of the chances because obviously the guy that we sort of brought in Nicky Jose to to do that job primarily has, has been unfortunate and had an injury but generally I think Brilliant. I, I love the style and, and the, the, the game that Matt wants to implement. Um, it's always exciting and I, I, I really, really like Matt as a manager. Um, I think he's the perfect guy for this club. And this season, I think, um, I think it'll be a good season. I mean, I might, I hope I don't. I hope I don't end up with egg on my face. But I, I think this season we, we've got a good chance of getting top three and I, I, really, I really hope so. An important game this uh, Saturday against Northampton. Northampton come here in good form as well, don't they? But when you look at our home record this season, only lost one. Yeah, I think um, I think we've always got a good chance of beating anybody here at home. Um, I think the way Matt sets up, and, and as you've seen with a lot of teams sort of coming here and respecting us by putting a lot of people behind the ball, um, I think that's that's been that's a, a great you know respect for the for for our team, I suppose. But um, the Northampton game, yeah, they seem to be scoring quite a bit of goals, like quite a few goals recently, and and they're in a good position in the table. But as I said, I fancy us here, and and I think you know the players are coming back from injury now, so you know I'm expecting, you know we've got we're going to get a good result here. I think we always push our guests for a score prediction. So I think it will be it will be narrow. I think it will be like a sort of a stodgy. 2-0, maybe 2-1, but I fancy our defence, so maybe 2-0. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be optimistic. OK, another clean sheet and another three points then if Sandy's right. That's all from Parkland. <laughs>